Well, you're watching Morning Live on SABC2. Now, internationally, there are 851 World Heritage Sites in 141 countries. South Africa has a total of eight of the World Heritage Sites. Now, I was just trying to remember the names of these World Heritage Sites. Can you narrate them? I know one of them is Ukatlamba. There's the Cape Floral region, there's Mapungubwe where we are today, and then there's Robben Island. Only but to name four, there's another four that we'll tell you about a little later. All World Heritage Sites are determined by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. World Heritage, their World Heritage Committee, that is. Our producer, Asbu Lela, compiled this report about all eight South African World Heritage Sites. A UNESCO World Heritage Site is chosen for its cultural significance or natural beauty and seeks to encourage the identification, protection and preservation of cultural and natural heritage around the world. Studying South Africa's eight heritage sites, you will find a wealth of knowledge about the country's history, biodiversity and heritage. South Africa's first World Heritage Site to be named was Isimangaliso Wetland Park in KwaZulu Natal in 1999. It is one of the largest estuary systems in Africa and continent's southernmost coral reefs. Its exceptional biodiversity includes some 521 bird species. The cradle of humankind has one of the world's richest concentration of fossils. Evidence of human evolution over the last three and a half million years. It lies between Gauteng and Northwest Province. The fossils sites cover an area of 47,000 hectares. The site supplies crucial information about members of one of the oldest fossils that appeared about five million years ago. Robben Island is also famous as a place where Nelson Mandela, the first democratically elected president of South Africa, was imprisoned for 18 years. The island has since become a symbol of triumph of democracy and freedom over oppression. It lies 11 kilometers offshore from Cape Town. The Ukatlamba Drakensburg Park in Guazun Natal has breathtaking natural beauty. It's Africa's highest mountain range south of Kilimanjaro. Mapungubwe was South Africa's first kingdom and developed into a subcontinental's largest realm, lasting for 400 years before it was abandoned in the 14th century. Its highly sophisticated people traded gold and ivory with China, India and Egypt. The site lies on the open savanna of Mapungupwe National Park at the confluence of the Limpopo and Shashe River in the province of Limpopo. The Cape Flora region takes up only 0.04% of the world's land area, yet contains an astonishing 3% of its planet species. This makes it one of the richest area for plants in the world and one of the globe's 18 biodiversity hotspots. Some 2 billion years ago, a meteorite 10 kilometers in diameter hit the Earth about 100 kilometers from Johannesburg, creating an enormous impact crater. This area near the town of Fredefort in the Free State is known as the Fredefort Dome. The meteorite, larger than Table Mountain, causes a thousand mega blasts of energy. The rectifold coral and botanical landscape covers 160,000 hectares of dramatic mountainous desert in the northwest part of South Africa. A unique feature of this is that it's owned and managed by a community that until recently had very little to call its own. The same people. All these heritage sites are fascinating and exquisite places of natural and cultural inspiration that merit preservation for future generations. Smoothella for Morning Live in Johannesburg. So there you have it. Uh, we are naming four for us, but Spoo giving us all eight of the uh, heritage sites, the World Heritage Sites that uh, UNESCO have declared for South Africa and what magnificent sites they are. And here is one of them, the place that we've been broadcasting from. It's magnificent. Mapungubwe is still a sacred rain-making site which has retained its uh, intangible heritage for the local people. Now, later on this morning, uh, Sara is holding a conference where a discussion will be hosted on heritage and sacred spaces and sites 
night. And one of the keynote speakers is Dr. Weber Ndoro, who is the CEO of the African World Heritage Fund. Uh, Dr. Ndoro has told me in no uncertain terms he is not related to Peter. <laughs> so, Peter, I haven't found a long lost cousin of yours, but, but nonetheless, I'm so happy to be talking to you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Good. Let's talk about um, uh, intangible heritage and its values. What, what is that all about? Well, the intangible values of heritage are the things which, you know, are not, if you like, you cannot touch. But these are values which uh, are expressed either through language, through dance, through even theater, uh, through religion, uh, through rituals. Uh, you know, these are things which we cannot really sort of you know, feel or touch, but we express in other ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, I mean, when we look at... Um, sacred sites. Now that's something I imagine that it's a it's a very subjective thing because something that might be sacred to me might not be sacred to you. How do you come to the conclusion that something is a sacred site? Well, it's uh, you, you have to look at the cultural context, uh, and uh, you're right that uh, it could just be a forest, which is a natural phenomenon. It could just be a pool of water, uh, but it has some uh, cultural values to the society around it and uh, it has religious values so in, in many ways uh, sacred places do have a, a, a tangible aspect that is the natural aspect it has a geographic location but at the same time these are places which are valued because they have a certain role a spiritual or religious role mm -hmm. to that community yeah. Yeah. are all heritage sites sacred no uh, they are not all sacred. There are uh, World Heritage Sites which have been put on the list because of their scientific uh, uh, values. Yeah. For example, if we look at uh, Stegfontein or the Cradle of Mankind, uh, it may not necessarily have any uh, sacred values because it is basically, you know, our information is coming from the scientist, scientists telling us what happened and perhaps we don't have any community or group of people which has any... Uh, cultural links, mm. uh, specific cultural links or religious links to that particular site. Yeah. So I would say on the World Heritage List, which has more than 900 sites, I would say probably a third may have uh, sacred values. Again, if you look at sites like Great Zimbabwe, which is related to Mapungubwe here, uh, it also has some sacred values. Yeah. Yeah, m most people don't know that Great Zimbabwe has a sacred cave. Uh, which is very you know, important to the local communities. Yeah. Uh, you also have uh, sacred uh, sites in Kenya, for example, the Mijikenda Forest, where, again, it's a forest, it's basically you know, uh, vegetation, uh, there are no physical structures except the, the natural st structures, uh, but it right. has, yeah, it has yeah. Uh, the significance to the Mijikenda people uh, in Kenya. Uh, it, quickly and finally, we, we're talking about the eight world heritage sites that we have in South Africa. What about on the African continent? How many world heritage sites do we have? In sub-Saharan Africa you have about 86 sites and South Africa is lucky to have uh, eight. It's one of the countries with the largest number. The other countries in sub-Saharan Africa, the large number is Tanzania and um, yeah, Tanzania and Ethiopia have nine. So South Africa still needs to get one more, one more. so that we can compete with everyone okay. on the continent. Well, hence the reason we've got a website now that people are able to go there and uh, I suppose put in their tender to make another uh, World Heritage Site for us here. Thank you so much for talking to us here. Uh, this was uh, Dr. Webb and Dora, the CEO of the African World Heritage Fund. Let's take a break here on Morning Live and uh, uh, we'll go and get the final news, the final weather, and then we'll bring you a shop shop from here. Stay tuned.